А вот так живут ребята. Это командный пункт 154 ОВБ. задачи планируется здесь погибшие пацаны царские небеса а это анаконда здесь пока также тропейная оружие Все это делают сами, покупали тоже сами. There is a fear in the Russian Federation over the possibility of losing the war if Western countries grant Ukraine permission to strike out long-range strikes on military targets deep in the Russian rear. This was reported on the Telegram by the advisor to the head of the presidential office, Mikhailo Podolyak. Podolyak explained what exactly characterizes Russian hysteria, taking into account the possibility of lifting informal bans on strikes with Western weapons on Russian territory. In particular, According to the opinion of the advisor to the head of the presidential office, we are talking, firstly, about Russian unconditional cowardice. Secondly, according to Podolyak, this speaks of the extremely specific and disgusting ability of the Russians to wage war only on unequal terms, according to the principle, we will attack with everything and you must have greater restrictions and follow the rules. Thirdly, we are talking about the absolute fear of Russians of a possible loss and the legal and historical consequences that come with it, he noted. And fourthly, as Podolyak added, we are talking about the increasingly strong unwillingness of Russians to rely on adequacy and realistically assess events. It is important to correctly assess all these components and make a mandatory decision to wage war exclusively within the framework of international law, which means that the territory of the aggressor country must be subjected to destructive systemic strikes that will sharply reduce its military capabilities, Podolyak emphasized. Ukraine is awaiting permission from its Western partners, the US and Great Britain, to use the transferred long-range weapons to strike legitimate targets on Russian territory. The Telegraph believes that giving Kiev the green light for long-range missile strikes would undoubtedly impact the course of the war. The Institute for the Study of War has identified at least 225 potential targets that Ukraine could strike immediately. These include military airfields, training bases, logistics centers, and manufacturing facilities that play a vital role in supporting the Russian war machine. A major Ukrainian drone attack on Russia caused a huge explosion and forced the partial evacuation of residents living near a large Russian arsenal in the western Tver region. The Russian Defense Ministry said it had shot down 54 Ukrainian drones launched overnight, half of them over the Kursk border region, where Ukrainian forces have been waging a counteroffensive since August, but didn't mention Toropets. Toropets has a population of just over 11,000 and is about 400 kilometers west of Moscow. Russia actively used the weapons in this warehouse to attack Ukraine. Firefighters were trying to contain the blaze, Igor Rudinya, the governor of the Tver region, said in a post on the region's telegram messaging channel. He did not say what was burning. According to Ukrainian security sources, Ukrainian drones struck a missile and artillery storage facility in Toropets, causing a powerful explosion and massive fire. 
The drones caused an extremely powerful detonation at a large warehouse of the main missile and artillery directorate of the Russian Ministry of Defense in the town of Toropets, the source of Reuters said. The warehouse contained missiles intended for Iskander tactical missile systems, Tochkayu tactical missile systems, guided aerial bombs and artillery ammunition, the source said. War bloggers and media reported earlier on Wednesday that a drone attack on Russia had triggered a giant blast and forced the partial evacuation of residents near the site of a large Russian arsenal. Ukraine's SBU and armed forces continued to methodically reduce the enemy's missile potential, which it uses to destroy Ukrainian cities, the SBU source said. The SBU, together with its brothers from the defense forces, continues to methodically reduce the enemy's missile potential, which it uses to destroy Ukrainian cities. We continue to work to organize a similar picture at other Russian military facilities working for the war against Ukraine, an informed source in the SBU reported. Ukraine says that operations will continue.